now we shall continue the previous exercise and display orders table from the database. We have already displayed customers data. What were the steps? The first step was create a class. Then we add mappings. and then launch the query process launch the query process so this is what we are going to do now so let us start with our class we'll come to our solution explorer right click on models because we already have c users model here on the same pattern we can do it and uh, one more possibility is there we could have typed it into the same class also we can take that shortcut so we can write public class c orders and let me now consult the database i'll this is tbl orders so basically first of all I'll start writing here table name is equal to TBL orders and close it here. This maps this class to the TBL orders. The next property I'll have is user ID. So I can write public string user id i'll write user id key get set and right now i can put up the mapping here column name is equal to user id fk user id fk and similarly continue for the second order number public string order number get set and similarly I can put up the mapping here column name is equal to the name is order number order number so this fits my mapping into place now I have to display the entire records what I can do is I can create a second method here uh, this is already there uh, one thing I can do is I can make changes to this one that is one of the possibilities or I can start to write it fresh I'll do one thing I'll cut it public string get users and I'll bring here so that in case one needs to do this one then this can be called and I'll create another function instead here public string get orders and here I can start to write my orders query and I can do one thing return get orders so now I have to complete this one so I can begin to write the query using data context against the connection string then table C orders from ctxt dot get table C orders then we can write query is equal to uh, t dot select c orders and this is a dynamic that we are extracting this time this is the dynamic that we are extracting user id key is the alias and order number will be an alias all the records will be selected but they will get alias of this and this 
string builder for each where we in query as usual we are displaying these properties on this where we and uh, order number will be displayed as v dot order number this is a dynamic now we can run and see it and this is the output that uh, we were looking for it displays all the user IDs and the order numbers so in case you want to do query yourself by writing mappings yourself then these are the simple steps that you use the table ready-made class it is generalized for C orders and uh, you call the get table function this is also generalized on C orders if the mapping is something else some other class you put that generalization here and uh, ex write the query as usual no change is required the only thing is this line and this line there is no uh, no change in any other thing on this page so if you want to write your queries yourself by writing the mappings this is the way step one step two but uh, the good thing is that generally the ORM designer offers you a lot many features offers great help because it will do all the mappings for you and it will create all convenient classes for you as you will see in the next lap next chapter and uh, one more thing is there in this particular case we were silent over relationships generally complex relationships prevail and it becomes a lot of manual labor if you want to do mappings for relationships also you have to put a lot of labor manual labor and therefore it is this ORM that comes to your help it will manage all relationships for you but why I did this was to give you a clarity of the concept if you are from radio.net background you must have seen we opened no reader no nothing was done we learnt these queries and socketed these two lines into them these two lines were plugged into this query system this is as if it is tailor made for MVC as you will see when we send data to our views you will realize that this is a lot easier to send data to your view and to write the for each queries there so we'll close it right now